Alrighty, welcome back to this course on advanced custom fields and WordPress. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're just simply going to be installing advanced custom fields. So come into your back end, the dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and type in A D V A N C E D custom fields. Give it a second to uh, to load. And there we go, there we have advanced custom fields. And in this video, what we will do is we will just simply add a text video. Text video, a text field. Activate this bad boy. And let's create a new page. Why not? And let's get rid of that page. Goodbye. Add a new page. Okay, so this will be called a ACF. Let's just call it text field. If I could spell, that would help. So, what we'll do is, <clears throat> as you can see, there's nothing in here. We will navigate our way to custom fields. If I can actually click it properly. And then we'll add a new field group. Now, I think my microphone is about to fall down. No. We are good. We are still here. And let's call this ACF and just call it text field. Yeah, let's leave it as text, TXT field. Why not? Why not? And we add a field and we will call this text field. I know the naming convention is not that great, but it will do for now. So, label, that's the label. This is the field name and we just want a text field. So, add the text. Add the text. I don't really like that. Yeah, prim and proper, baby. Okay, so default value. You can add a default value. Um, you could put a placeholder text, what have you. You could prepend, convert it into HTML tags, which we want to do. <clears throat> what we will do is we will change this from post type to page. And we will call this. Oh, look, it's already found it because we haven't got very much on there. Then what I like to do is actually I like I prefer the WP Meta box, um, and that is that. So let's publish this bad boy. Then what we can do is we can come back to our pages, and once in pages we can edit our text field page. And now what you can see is you can see that we have the text field, so we can go. This is the text field, and let's update it. So, all we need to do now is we need to edit the template to publish, or we need to edit the template so this can be put out on the front end. So, we have the advanced custom field set up, we have our theme set up, and we've actually, let's just give that a refresh, we have, let's get rid of this and this, what nonsense. We've added it to our page. So now what we need to do is go into that backend template and change it. So I've got this theme, it's just a 2016 theme. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this and I'm gonna create a new template. And what I'll call it is the ACF, no, let's save it first. So I'm gonna call this ACF text field dot php and I want it to save in the right place ah, I don't think it's going to save in the right place okay let's just give me a second let's go back to HD docs some reason there we go she didn't want to save there so let's move her along come on don't embarrass me 2016 and then we want to put that into there perfect and now and now we should have it here all right let's paste that in no let's not paste that in let's paste this in and we want to change this uh, template yes okay template name will be ACF text so now so we've created our own template 
well, we just copied and pasted, but it's a custom template. Now, what we'll do is we'll go back into Firefox, and if we refresh, we should now see a default template, and we can see this. What we'll do is we'll update, and then if we go into here, what we'll do is we'll just stick a H1 in there quick, and we'll just put testing, and on the front end, we should, is that the page? No, it's not the page, silly. On the front end, we should see that it says testing now, so, perfect. So now we've got that, what we'll do is we can add in the advanced custom field, so, best place for it to go so this da, 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 after the content parts let's do it just here so php and the easiest way for someone who's learning to use advanced custom fields is to go to the documentation so acf docs easy quick google and you can just use the get field and as you can see you can just Literally copy and paste the field, get field, the field, yeah, the field, not get field. Stupid me. So let's get rid of our PHP actually, and let's get rid of this H2. So now you can see what we should do is wrap this in a paragraph tag. And what did we call it, ladies and gentlemen? We called it something that I can't remember. We called it. Oh, come on. We called it, yes, come on. So, field name, just literally copy and paste that. And go into here. Ha. And that's our text field. So what I'll do is I'll put H2 below is our text. Our text field, right? Smiley face. So that's how you get the field. Okay. So now we should have a page that we can edit that says this is the text field. And now, if we refresh our page, we should see our heading. Oh, look! Below is our text field, and this is the text field. Ooh, ah, amazing! So, we now know how to add that. Then, in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be adding a text area and we're going to be adding an image. Woo! Exciting times. And then, further on, um, in other videos, what I'm going to be doing is adding a WYSIWYG editor, a page link, and a file and uh, eventually we'll be building our project so i hope this video is helpful sorry for the old uh, yapping um please like subscribe say hi give me a wave i'm on twitter by the way uh if you google benjamin the dev benjamin the dev if you google this you can find me here oh look it's my little face Woo oh look at this I said, what was that, React? I can't even remember. Ah, yeah, React, that's me doing React. So yeah, well, look, you've got my GitHub as well. So uh, Benjamin the Dev at Twitter, you can find me there. Um, come say hi, do a smiley face. Thanks for watching and see you later maybe. <laughs>